video i will be sharing more about what is going on and what is happening in the nigerian aviation industry because that is where everything that is going on in nigeria we all know what is going on everything that is going on in nigeria is so alarming uh and one area that touched me the most is the aviation industry because of uh, the passion i have for that industry the nigerian aviation industry will not die and it will come to uh, uh, we are going to move high even despite all these uh, rigorous and uh, things that is going on in the industry uh, what made me to do this video is a comment that someone made about a video I told uh, I, I tagged hundreds years of her peace I intentionally did that because of what is going on in the industry because of the domestic hairline we've had in the past do subscribe to the channel hit the notification button smash the like button and comment below comment on this issue uh, stay to the end stick to the end and watch the video to get a glimpse of what we are saying um, we have so many airlines that they rushed in and looking at it four to five years they rushed out I don't know why they are doing that maybe it's a government policy that is not uh, favoring them or what or maybe they don't have strong foundation and this brought me to an interview I saw I read about an interview conducted by Wale Oyebali uh, uh, he interviewed the chief executive officer of Westlink Airline, in person of Captain Ibrahim Mashalai. Uh, and I saw the title, I said, Wow, this is a timely message. This is a timely message for the Nigerian aviation industry. And I think we are formidable ones in the industry, but uh, they've not been doing the right thing, and it's making the industry to lose revenue. I also saw in the news about uh, Nigerian uh, national carriers and I think we have to sit down the players in the industry, the experts in the industry, the airlines, owners, the founding fathers, sit down and come up with a good formidable national carrier. You see that most international airlines operating in Nigeria are the one recouping and carrying all our profit away. You see, Nigeria is a big market in the aviation industry, and you see that the international airlines, the airlines abroad coming into Nigeria are seeing the market. Um, where well, I saw this uh, title that margin of airlines in Nigeria will not work. I went through the, I read through uh, the interview. But what got my attention was the aspect where they ask him this question. I'm talking about the chief executive officer of uh, Westlink uh, Limited, Airline Limited. He said, I read the, the question out and he said, why the reason why mergers of airlines cannot be possible in the Nigerian aviation industry. And I think what is making um, every sector, private, public, and other sector not to try, that we're having various challenges is all this selfish interest. Mm. I've not traveled much, I've not traveled much, but uh, some of the people I worked with, uh, they collaborate. You don't need to have the own money. You bring your own share, they, the other person will bring his own share, other person will, then they put it together, they conjure, they calculate their percentage. Then they run the business. They run the business. They get the business. They share the profit, they share the loss. And I think if we should imbibe this. And the question that everybody asked uh, the CEO of Western Airline was, what is your view about the call for local airlines merger? And the answer the man gave, it was direct, 
and true is a true answer because if you remove uh, selfish interest in how we are doing in Nigeria, not only in the aviation industry, in every aspect, I think Nigeria will be a better place to live. He said straight to the answer, I think we are joking. I love that phrase. We are joking. And this the reason why he said so, he said, we will never be able to match where every operator comes with his own model. Yes, it's good to have your own model. Yes. They said to every decree, there's always an exception. It's good to have your own model. And if you have your own model, another person has his own model, and you want a partner, the best thing to sit down and negotiate. And his answer said, we will never agree on one model. On a model. For instance, look at airline operation operator of Nigeria UN today. We don't have a body as far as I am concerned because some people think the hydra should be superior to others. In a group that you think like that, you have to convince people to buy your hydra. And this is what this is a problem in Nigeria as a whole. Oh, superior. You want your idea to be more superior than the other, and it's affecting the aviation industry. This is an example you cite, airline operator of Nigeria. He said, if an airline is running professionally, fourth, it must have a dream of the founding fathers. I ask you that, yes, this is one of the key things that is disrupting the survival of airlines, domestic airlines in Nigeria. That means we are not having the dream of our founding fathers. And what is the dream of our founding fathers? When I retire, I want to have 1% share of my hairline, even though I founded it. That is the dream. The number one dream is, I'm not going to have the overall control even when I retire. Just give me 1% share of the uh, whole share of the airline. Uh, even though I founded it, I want my great-grandchildren to have share in it. But the issue about merger in Nigeria is that people want to have ownership and die with it without transferring it to experts that can handle it. And that's the main challenge. That is why the airline, the domestic airline industry in Nigeria is not thriving. We want a whole ownership because I'm the one that pour down the money, I'm going to bring the capital. We want to have it and when it die when you die or when you don't have the capability again to make the industry survive everything die with you i think we should change this we should change this we should change this notion so that we embark on a formidable island we work as a team together everyone achieve much let's imbibe the culture of our founding father not that we want to be the sole owner of the airline. Yes, we might have the larger share, but we should imbibe the culture. What we need the most, I'm still on the answer, is the will of the government to have a robust aviation industry. That is on the government part. That is, he said, it's not there. The robust aviation uh, industry is not there. The government is not supporting uh, maybe, uh, the airline, the domestic airline. Maybe they are giving them some policies that is so tasking to go by. If the government is actually interested in developing innovation, it will be there in its policies. Yes. So I said it will be there in its policies. There will be deliberate policies to grow the industry. And the vision, general aviation will be, solution, will be the solution to it. That is why for me, I advocate for complete autonomy of the Nigerian civil aviation Authority that is NCA under the current administration. They want Nigerian Aviation uh, Civil Aviation Authority to have full autonomy to can to have an independent control. I think I I I, I accept this idea and if this is done, everything will be alright. This will do a lot of good for the industry and some of the challenges will be checkmate. They are claimed by some charter operator that the couple of private jet owners are converting their planes into high and reward service, which is illegal. That is also on the part of the jet owners. They are, they are, they are moving away 
from what they are certified for and doing some other things. I have been into charter flight before I got the AOC for the West Link airline. And I was managing a company before I set up my own. Before then, I had always been in the advocacy of doing the right thing. And that is why I decided to set up my own hairline. Let's do the right thing. Because me I seen in, uh, in Nigeria today, doing the right thing is like you are doing the wrong thing. And doing the wrong thing is that you are doing the right thing. Let's imbibe the culture of doing the right thing. I think the end doing the right thing, every of our challenges will be resolved. Uh, I can tell you that it is true because as a certified operator, I know most of our, the passengers who are regular. There was a time some of them complained to me that I charged more and I got it cheaper somewhere else. The fact is that the government should be more worried because it is losing a lot of revenues. I pay 5% ticket sales charge, TSC. Even if I don't have the cash with me, I hold it. I must pay. I can't jump to it. But those that are doing these sharp practices are not captured in the NCAA data. So the NCAA cannot go after them. This is another way, place where NCAA should look into yeah, the record keeping. Record keeping. Every record should be penned down so that they know what is going on. We have sharp practices, some people cutting corners. And it's affecting the industry. Then I think the Department of the State Security Service, uh, the DSS, should have intervened because this was purely economic sabotage for those remain for this long, even when the former DG of NCA suspended some of them. That is why I felt that if the Director General of the NCA has full autonomy, he would do his job without looking. At the body language of the minister wow i love this answer yes they should give it an independent uh authority to operate so that it will not look at anybody before getting anything done i think uh, the government should look into this they should give the nca the right to operate and any length they want to go without looking at without not getting the approval of the minister or, or anybody in the aviation industry because of it. And the policies are favorable. They are favorable compared to where I'm, I'm coming from. Even passengers are almost engaging themselves in flying private jet because no insurance company will want to compensate the victim when an accident occurs. This is another thing that they should look into. They should follow the, the account standard. Everything is there. The SCA should ask the DSS to check the operator. And I can tell you that within three to four weeks, the truth will be known. What business do you operate when you fly three or four times in a day? Yeah, the airline will claim it is flying private. I think they should look into this. I think the government should, the, the government, the aviation industry, the minister of aviation, everybody should sit up and look into this. The airline industry in Nigeria is not moving, it's not thriving. They are just doing business for doing sake without not making profit. And even they are making profit, they are jeopardizing their image. Let's look into this. Please, I'm employing everybody, the founding father of the Nigerian innovation industry, the experts, the players, the stakeholders to sit down and do this and do things right. So that the aviation industry will be favorable. Airlines will come, foreign investment will come and invest. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel. Comment below about this issue. I want to know your thoughts. Thank you for watching.